Hey guys, I wanted to share with you the process of refinishing an old vintage photo. So I recently picked up this picture um, from a market and it's really gorgeous. It's got some great finishes on the edge here and you can see the back of it is pretty bad. So what I'm going to do today is pull out all of these old rusty nails and this nasty wet backing and put a new backing on and show you how to tack it all in. What you'll need for this project is a bowl to drop all the old nails and any other materials that you have in there. You'll need some sort of a framing point driver. You'll need a Leatherman or a set of pliers. I like a Leatherman because they're a bit stronger. An X-Acto knife. A pen to trace the old matte backing. And then I'm actually using just an old piece of cardboard that I got from a delivery recently. So I've put down a cutting board here. You can use any sort of cutting mat just based on whatever material or surface that you're cutting on. So you'll want to just set your picture down and grab your pliers and start to slowly pull these old nails out. And they're going to be tricky depending on what the previous person used. But as you pull them out, just go ahead and start dropping them in your bowl or cup. Now I'm finding here that instead of just grabbing it and pulling straight out, which is kind of tricky, if you can get a good grab on it and gently press against the frame, not too hard because you'll damage the frame, you can just bend it right out. Okay, so we got all the old rusty nails out of there. And now we're going to pull out the old, nasty, wet backing that they had before. As you can see, this is all in good condition still. So what we need to do is just cut our new cardboard piece to match the old. So I've got my new one here. Again, this is just from the side of a delivery box that we had recently. And I'll just go ahead and line it up to the two sides that I think are best. Actually, it's straighter on this side, so we'll use this. Line that up, and then just get a pen or a marker and trace out your shape. Okay, now we've got a good template. Here's where you'll use your X-Acto knife and just gently cut out the shape. It's okay if you're not you know, precise on the lines, but you just need something to hold that picture in place is all. Okay, so we've cut our template. Again, there might be other ways to do this. This is just what I'm doing. So you'll wanna grab your picture and just make sure that the template that you just cut fits the, fits the frame. Pretty perfect, okay. So now you wanna grab your point driver, your framing point driver. I just picked one up on Amazon. I can leave the link in the description here. Uh, this one had great reviews and let's give it a try. So you'll just want to press down and then just pull back on this lever here.
I was reading too, the depth that these framing points are going in, you can adjust that by turning this dial on the back. I'm not too bothered right now. This is sort of the first one I'm doing. So just want to get this one in here and then we can always make adjustments later. Now you don't have to do too many. You can just sort of see where the picture frame is, is a little bit loose or where it's coming out a little bit. Just make sure you reinforce those areas. And I'm sort of pressing to see how low it is because the point driver is better if you've got a little bit of a lower surface here. I just do one more. Maybe another one right here in the middle. Okay. And now, there you have it. So this project didn't take very long. Pretty quick fix with generally most of the materials that you have at home, being the cardboard, the pliers, uh, the point driver, you may not have that, but maybe you know somebody who has one and you could borrow it. But I'll show you the finished product pretty good. And now for future reference, if I wanted to change out this picture, you've probably seen this on a few pictures uh, that you've picked up at the shop, but you can just bend these back. And depending on how deep they are in here, um, that's if they'll stay in. So sometimes you'll bend these out and they just fall right out. And that just means that they weren't driven in far enough. So this is pretty good for a first try with this point driver and some cardboard that we had at the house. Hope you enjoyed this video.